Hi guys and welcome to All About the Philippines Dating a Filipina Course Episode 8 which is looking at your first visit to meet your Filipina in the Philippines. Now typically I say this should be one to two weeks in duration but the, a lot of planning goes into this trip. If you want to get the best prices on your airfares and accommodation then you need to do that a few months out, start looking a few months out, especially around the airfares. And today I'm going to tell you exactly how you can do that, how you can get your best airfares to the Philippines. And also we're going to have a look at what you need to do when you're in the Philippines with your new girlfriend for the first time and getting to know her a little better. But before we do that, don't forget if you're enjoying the All About the Philippines Dating a Filipina course, then hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get more videos. Okay guys, let's get into episode 8 of All About the Philippines Dating a Filipina course. Now guys, the reason I suggest a shorter visit for the first trip is just in case things don't go well. They're not always going to go well. How you see your Filipina when you're on a long distance relationship via the computer can be vastly different how things will go when you're there meeting her face to face. You might decide when you're there she's not really the right woman for you after all. So the idea of a shorter visit is just to get a feel for your new girlfriend and see if you guys get on well together and you can see some sort of a future with her. But even if you want to have a longer visit there, you, you can still do that. Uh, if things don't work out, you've got a great holiday to go and, and uh, see the Philippines. But for me, I found having a eight day or so trip at the start was just a good way to find out how things went and it wasn't too much all at once and it gave me a lot to think about when I got home. So I would say one to two weeks at the most in that first visit. So you're going to need to work out how long you can go depending on your work. If you're self-employed you might be able to go for as long as you like but most people who have jobs they need to run it by their employers and depending on how much annual leave they might have to how long they can go. So the first thing you've got to do is work out the time when you're going to go and as I say plan it a few months ahead because that way you're going to get the better airfares. So once you've got the dates that you want to go and for the length of time you want to go check out HolidayEscapeTravel.com that's my own comparison travel website where you will get the best airfares online without doubt. I can guarantee you that you go on there, you have a good look, you compare with other websites that will give you the comparisons and you check out Holiday Escape Travel and you'll be very pleasantly surprised. Now the idea is, as I say, you've got to book around about three months prior to going if you want to get the very best airfares. And I know with Holiday Escape Travel, the airfares, especially, we'll say, from Australia to um, the Philippines, you can get as cheap as $300 return on various days. Now, it's going to depend on when you're going to actually go to the Philippines. So, is it going to be in a high peak season or a low peak season? So, Christmas time, obviously, you're going to be paying a lot more for your airfares than you would, say, in mid-February or March. So you've got to look at that factor as well, according to your budget, what you can afford. Now, if you're coming from the US, you can get tickets with holiday escape travel for as low as $600 return to the US. So that depends again when you're going to book. So my advice is three months out, start to really look and compare on a daily basis and maybe even a few times a day because the airfares can change very, very quickly. And if you check on a Monday or Tuesday, that's typically when the airlines put out their new fares. So a Monday or Tuesday is when you're going to get the best prices to the Philippines. And let's face it, that's what we want to do is we want to save on the flights and hopefully the motels as well or hotels. So that way you've got more to spend when you're there. But remember, this is a shorter visit. So 
you're not going to be there overly long. And depending on where you come from in the world, uh, it will depend on how much you're going to need to save for this shorter trip to the Philippines. Now, it could be anywhere from $2,000 to $4,000, depending on where you're going to be staying for your motel, hotel, how much you want to spend there, and what sort of airfares you get. And make sure you've got at least six months on your passport before you travel. So the day that you're traveling, you've got to have at least six months left on your passport. Otherwise, they won't even let you out of the country. And the other thing is visas from Australia to the Philippines. You don't need one if you're staying for under 30 days. Only if you're going over that 30 days, then you'll need a visa. And I believe it's very similar for the United States as well. But any other countries, you'd want to check about your visa requirements in advance before booking your tickets. So again, once you've decided how long you're going to go for, when you're going to go, then you can start to look for your aeroplane tickets. You get those on HolidayEscapeTravel.com and you'll get some great tickets there. And you can also, from HolidayEscapeTravel.com, we have a banner there that you can click on. If you like to use Booking.com, then click on that link and it will take you to their site where you can get extra great prices on hotels, accommodation throughout the Philippines. No matter what type of accommodation you want, you can get great prices through there. So you can do your aeroplane tickets and your accommodation all in one site. So check that out, guys. Now, something else that's very important and you want to do a good three to four months before you go to the Philippines is go to your doctor and ask about what vaccinations are required to go to the Philippines. You don't want to be over there and you don't want to get sick. Now, at the moment, I know there's a polio outbreak in the Philippines. So there's a travel warning going around saying for tourists to go and get their polio vaccine prior to leaving. And also, you want to talk to your doctor about getting vaccines for hepatitis B, hepatitis A, and maybe even hepatitis C, especially the... Uh, hepatitis B vaccine, I know that comes in three shots, so and they spread them a month or so apart, so in total it does take around about three months to get that course of vaccine for the hepatitis B. So as I say guys, check with your GP a good three to four months before you go to the Philippines. So now you've organized time off work, you've got your aeroplane tickets, you've booked your accommodation, You've got at least six months left on your passport. You've been to your GP and you've had your vaccinations and you don't require a visa to the Philippines because you're staying under 30 days, then you're ready to go. And for those that might be landing at Manila International Airport and you want to know where the meeting point is, so where you meet your girlfriend when you get there at the airport, it's a bit different to most international airports and you've got to find this meeting point. So if you check out a video that I've done, which is um, the, showing the meeting point at Manila International Airport, then that will show you exactly where to go once you get there. So you're not wandering around and, and wondering where to go. And remember, the idea of this first trip is really about getting to know your Filipina girlfriend face to face. You, you spent the time on the computer, things went well there, now you're trying to find out how things go face to face. So you don't want to rush into things, you want to just let things go naturally and really get to know your Filipina on a more personal level. You want to really take the time to get to know her family, her friends, her neighbours, her co-workers, talk to them about your girlfriend, let them give you information about her to see if it adds up to what she's been telling you. And a good tip I'll give you is to familiarize yourself with the area that she lives in. So you know what places there are to go out to dinner and what nice places there are to go and see throughout the day. Now the simple way to do that of course is through Google and do, do your research there and you'll find plenty of options. Remember you're only there eight days a few of those days are going to be taken up by visiting family, friends, all that sort of stuff. And the other four or five days, you guys will have to yourselves. So you want to make the most of those days and you want to really 
focus in on your girlfriend so you can really start to work out if you guys have some sort of a future going forward and that's really the purpose of this first trip is to see how compatible you guys are go home have a good think about it and then if all goes well you may want to go back to the philippines for a longer visit which we'll cover in the next episode which will be episode nine of the all about the philippines dating a filipina course now to finish off today i'll just finish with a small tip and that is taking some small gifts or souvenirs for not just your filipina but her family members that you're going to meet when you're there it's a nice thing to do and it's something that is within the philippine custom that when filipinas might be overseas and they come home they'll bring some gifts for their family so if you take you know some chocolate you can't go wrong with chocolate with filipinos and just some small souvenirs from your country then they'll find that quite good and also if you're spending a bit of time there and you're eating meals at her family's house then you might want to just kick in a thousand pesos or so or buy a few sacks of rice or something like that just to help them along and show that you're not there just taking their hospitality but you're also giving back as well so guys i hope this video has given you plenty of ideas around your first trip and your first meeting with your filipina to the philippines and how you can plan it and how you can go about organizing it and how you can get the best airfares and hotel accommodation while you're there i will put the link below for holiday escape travel and in our next episode of dating a filipina course will be which will be episode nine we'll be looking at planning your second visit to the philippines to be with your girlfriend so that's assuming everything's gone well in the first visit now we're looking to amp it up a bit we're looking to go there we're looking to spend more time with her to really decide now if she's going to be the one for you going forward and if you're the one for her she might not like you either so it can go both ways here so it's really now about amping it up and seeing where things really are so guys if you've enjoyed the video give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to leave your comments below in the comments section i'd really like to hear your comments around uh, planning your first trip to the philippines what you might have done this is a place we can all share our own experiences and give valuable tips to members who may not be experienced in going to the philippines or dating a filipina and also guys don't forget to share this video around with all your networks and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell to get more videos thanks very much for watching guys i appreciate all your support take care and bye for now Thank you.